Good evening, everybody. In action from the Navajo Basketball Tournament. It's the Navajo Girls against La Plata. Navajo Ian Gray it was bombs away early by Lexi Baird. Nice baseline drive by Kelsey Hemmerling for the visitors. This time around, Baird would call bank. It's three points. Hemmerling was tough inside, and La Plata would go on to win it 61-44. to the Pekin girls look to remain undefeated, taking on a Cardinal team looking for its first win of the year. Pick this one up in the third quarter. The Lady Panthers working in transition. Kayla Linder finds Whitney Johnson, and she lays it in for two on the other end. Pekin in control up 29-12. Comets tried to use the three to climb back in. Lydia Moses splashes one from deep, and that pulls the Comets within 14. But Pekin was too much. You have to check the inbounder. Kayla Linder gets open, and she nails the three. She led Pekin with 12. Lady Panthers top the Comet 63-17. to 17. Next up, it's the Knox County girls against Putnam County. Knox County and White, Angel Harrison would stop and hit the jumper. Sydney Miller was tough inside in the paint tonight. Let's move to the second half. Kennedy Childers gets two for the Midgets, but Knox County would win it big. The final 62-43. Next up, it's the Green City Girls against Novinger. Green City and White, nice defense. It's Brooke Littrell with the steal and Caitlin Connor with the basket. Brashear would beat the pressure. Nice move by Alexa Higgins as she gets it to drop. Connor would also connect from the outside. Green City gets the win tonight, 71-24. to Tonight was season opening play for both the Cardinal and Pekin boys. Both teams wanted to get off on the right foot. First half went back and forth between these two. Levi Long got the scoring started down low with a nice move inside and peaking with an early three-point lead. Later in the first quarter, Gabriel Clarkson cleans the boards and gets the put back in to give the Comets a 13-12 lead. But right in the second quarter, Ryan Milliken answers that back up with a three. He led Peking with 19, and the Panthers will pull away from there for a 50-33 win. Over the years, Knox County and Putnam County have played some great games. Tonight was no exception. Putnam County in blue, Calvin Hyden with great anticipation. He would be rewarded at the other end. Hunter Clocky would get those two back underneath for Knox County. Carson Quint, nice drive for the visitors. Check out the great move by Noah Talton. He had 25 on the night. Knox County wins it. 76-48. In other boys' high school basketball games tonight, Kirksill lost to Jeff City, 60-52. Tanner Schilling had 19 points. Atumbo came up short against Fort Madison, 53-42. Dobbinger beat Brashear, 74-31. Salisbury stopped Macon, 55-39. Bevere got by Grundy County, 53-38. Scotland County beat Newtown Harris, 74-21. And Sheridan beat Davis County, 59-49. In girls action, Tubbo beat Fort Madison 46-31. Davis County lost to Sheridan 55-24. Macon beat Salisbury 39-36. It was North Shelby 52. Marion County 29. Bevere lost to Grundy County 54-18. In high school wrestling, Kirksville beat Hickman 57-21, but they lost to Rockbridge 47-36.